Hi there, this is Anup here and today we are going to talk about Intune troubleshooting. How to start troubleshooting in Intune? What are the things you need to take care when you troubleshoot? Where is the best place to start the troubleshooting in Intune? If you are an IT admin and if you are working in Intune for application deployment, patch deployment, security policy deployment, which is the best place to start the Intune troubleshooting. And if you are a help desk member, and if you get a call from a user, end user, where you would start troubleshooting. So we will check different scenarios in this video. We will have follow up video as well. This is one of the sessions I have presented with Jitesh in the last HTMD user group meeting. The recording of that session didn't work well, so I thought I will create a different video for that using the same presentation. So let's check how to start troubleshooting with Intune for all the Intune deployment issues that you have. So let's get into it. So let's check what are the Intune troubleshooting options we have. We'll talk about new experience. We'll talk about in console troubleshooting. If you are a deployment engineer, how to start troubleshooting. If you are a help desk, how to do that. And then we will talk about advanced way of troubleshooting in Intune. This is the first part of the Intune troubleshooting video. So this is all about Intune troubleshooting and it's a pure art. Let's try to segregate it. I have segregated troubleshooting into three parts mainly. Monitoring, assess the impact, identify small set of users or devices to drill down deep. Monitoring. You need to monitor health alerts from Microsoft. There are a lot of subscription options available to get the email alerts on health of Intune service. So that is one of the recommended way to keep you updated. So for example, if you are not able to load one particular page devices tab in Intune portal, what you should do? Maybe probably your browser issue, etc, etc. So normal web application type of troubleshooting. Then check the health alert. There is any error or any information from Microsoft on this issue or not. That's all about health alerts. And then if you are a deployment engineer, always check the status of your deployment from Intune portal. That is also a kind of monitoring from my perspective and that should be part of your day-to-day -day activities and then the second section is all about assess the impact okay you identified there is an issue now you want to have more details on that issue whether it is a service issue then it will be part of the health alert in Intune portal as well as in Microsoft 365 portal admin.microsoft.com portal so if there is any issue with Microsoft 365 components then sometimes there could be an issue with Intune as well so you need to understand whether this is a global issue or tenant wide issue or regional issue or something like that the best option is if you have different tenants in the same region and you can reproduce the issue in testing tenant and in the production tenant then the probabilities of service outage is higher in that scenario. And if you want to check the global issue or tenant wide issue or Microsoft related issue, then you can go to tenant administration node in Intune and go to service health and message center to get the alert details. You might have some alerts like this. Admins may be unable to log into Intune and this is the ID, etc, etc. So that is the idea to start assessing the impact. Whether if it is a global issue, if it is a Microsoft issue, then you cannot do anything to resolve it. So that is assessing the impact. By assessing the impact, you will come to know who is responsible to resolve the issue. If it is a deployment issue, all deployments are failing or the deployment is failing for some particular devices or users, then you can dig into the next section 
where you can find out what is the exact issue, identify some of the uses from that scope of devices or uses and then start troubleshooting in bit more details. First thing is deployment reports. If you are deploying an application or policy, then check the deployment reports. Those reports are almost live. Deployment status reports. You can check how the deployment is going. How many PCs it got deployed successfully? How many PCs it got failed? Or how many users it got deployed or failed? The other thing you, which you can do, if a single user issue, if the single user is calling help desk, then you can go to troubleshooting node in Intune portal and search for that particular user if the user is calling the help desk and identify the problem. It's a user error or maybe the deployment error or there is some conflict on that particular user PC or user device. It can be iOS device, it can be Mac OS, Android. This, this troubleshooting is for all the supported platforms. Windows, Mac OS, iOS, iPad OS, etc, etc. Get the details from troubleshooting node and from the troubleshooting node you can drill down to lot of stuff. We'll cover that in the next slide. So this is the start of the troubleshooting and, and again troubleshooting is pure art. So you need to practice it to master it. So now let's talk about new troubleshooting experience in Intune. What are the things you can do with the new troubleshooting experience in Intune? You can get the summary of policies, complaints, policies and application deployment status from the troubleshooting node as you can see over here. This is not new to Intune portal because you might have seen something similar to this if you have Windows 365 or Cloud PC subscriptions or you might have seen this in Endpoint Analytics node in Intune already. This is coming to Intune troubleshooting node as well and that is very useful to start the troubleshooting. You have an option to export the details from troubleshooting node and you have an option to filter it and sort it based on your troubleshooting scenarios. If you are help desk admin, all these options would be very useful for you to escalate this ticket to next engineer. You can filter and find out what is causing the issue, where is the issue, etc. And sorting is also very important because there would be failed, failed deployments, successful deployments and not applicable deployments, etc. in the report. So if you want to concentrate only on the failed ones, you can sort it out based on the status of the deployment. You have an option to exclude policies and application if you want. That is also very useful. Yeah, you have an option to filter entire experience to a single device. We'll see that in the coming slides. You will get option about diagnostics and different types of devices like the status of the devices such as disabled devices, offline devices, the devices that haven't checked into the service for last three days etc. Since this is a preview version at the moment you need to enable it and this is the way how you enable it. So this is the sing single user troubleshooting option from troubleshoot node. Go to troubleshoot and support node in Intune portal and check on a single user. For example, Jitesh is a user I have taken as an example over here and you can see user status, user account is enabled, user account is not disabled and Intune license is there. And then you can see different options, summary, devices, groups, policy, applications, MAM related policies, MAM, Intune application protection policies and then patching, patching related policies and deployments, enrollment restriction policies and diagnostics. All these things you can check from this single node troubleshoot plus support. This is the new Intune troubleshooting experience. From that node, you can start the troubleshooting and then you can gradually move to the other scenarios which, which I have mentioned over here. Go to deployment reports, 
and drill down to a device etc etc these are operational reports the reports which you are seeing on the right side now is the operational reports in intune if you are a deployment engineer then you need to check deployment reports regularly normally the deployment will happen after end of office hours first thing you need to check how is the deployment going from where you can check you can check it from intune operational reports operational reports means it is timely focused and actionable reports it is a timely report it is almost live reports you can check the almost live status of your application or policy deployment and it is focused on one particular application or one particular device or one particular policy so that is why it is focused and it is actionable it is actionable because you can take a look at the issues with with some of the devices or policies and take an action so we will see that what all these mean how operational reports are going to help you in intune troubleshooting operational reports means in console troubleshooting scenario even help desk engineer can start this kind of troubleshooting to identify where is the problem why user is having this problem etc from the troubleshooting node itself so let's check all these screenshots in this way 1 2 3 4 so from the troubleshooting plus support node and i have identified that there's a conflict issue with one of the policy for one particular device so where did i get this conflict report so it is an operational report from the troubleshooting you can navigate to that particular policy and in that particular policy in tune data collection policy you can see device status in the device status for one device it is succeeded that means there's no issue with the policy at all the policy is working there's no issue with the policy configuration or deployment etc etc right? but one device is succeeded and other device deployment status is conflict so what is conflict we will check that once we reach the next step number 4 over here you will get better idea what is conflict so for now let's concentrate on the um, troubleshooting that you need to follow as a help desk engineer or a deployment engineer i saw there's a error in one of the deployments for that particular user jitesh in this case when i drill down to that policy i see a conflict for one of the device the conflict is for profile type device configuration as you can see over here as well it's a configuration profile it is a device configuration and the state is conflict and the policy name is configure windows health profile now if i dig down to this status conflict status and into this particular policy settings so within a policy profile there will be different kinds of settings so for this particular intune data collection policy if you drill down to that policy and check what are the settings within this particular policy hdmd intune data collection policy there are two settings in that particular policy and the two settings are allowed device health monitoring backing that is first policy setting and the second policy setting is config device health monitoring scope this setting is fine don't have any issue with the setting for this particular policy but for this setting there is a there is an issue it is causing a conflict on the client end on this particular device now let's look into this particular setting how to do that just click on this and that will take you to this particular page settings in conflict you can see the settings name over there and state conflict in profiles conflict in profiles okay which are those profiles source profiles you can see two policy profiles over here this is the one 
HDMT Intune Data Collection Policy and there is a different policy profile Configure Windows Health Profile. So what is basically conflict? Conflict is nothing but if you have different policy profiles, different policies like this having same settings, same settings like this one, two, setting one, setting two with different values. So probably this for this particular setting, we have configured Intune data collection policy with these two settings and probably configured Windows health profile also with these two settings. Why there is no conflict for this particular one? Because for both of these policy profiles, the settings value for this setting is same. So let's take an example and say 0, 1 are the two possible values for this settings. For both the profiles, policy profiles, Intune data collection policy and configure Windows health profile policy, allow device health monitoring backup setting is set to 0. Okay. That is why it is not creating any conflict. It is asking the client device to set zero and it is already set. Even though the policy went to the device twice, it is not creating any conflict because the settings value of this setting is same. That is zero. But this particular setting config device health monitoring scope is configured with a different value in these two policy profiles. For example, for Intune data collection policy, this is set to zero. The value of the setting is set to zero. And for, for configure Windows health profile, the value for this policy setting is set to one. So at the end, Windows device or any other platform device will have a problem in decision making which which policy settings value i should apply to this device so that is why it is creating a conflict status so there are some conflicts which will automatically get resolved from the intune service side itself but there are some policy settings similar to this which needs manual intervention or admin needs to manually correct this conflict because it is kind of an admin error at least from my perspective admin didn't understand the setting is already deployed to the same device with a different policy and with a different value if both are zero or both are one from both the profiles then it won't create any conflict it would be similar to this one but in this scenario both the policy settings values are different one is zero and the other one is one for example and that is creating the conflict now how to rectify this how to solve this kind of conflict issues what you need to do is basically you need to go to one of the policy and remove this conflicting settings you need to decide which is the actual setting you want to deploy to that particular device and then act accordingly so that is what an admin needs to do to resolve this conflict now let's look into some other troubleshooting scenarios over here we'll call this as a next level of troubleshooting maybe advanced level of Intune troubleshooting once you reach here, here and all. This is a flow diagram to make you understand how you can start troubleshooting or how you can take the troubleshooting into the next level, Intune troubleshooting into the next level. You can collect the diagnostics from the portal itself. So that is, that is very important, right? If you have a device and you want to check the log files, on the device to get better understanding what you have seen what you have noticed from the service side troubleshooting until now we were doing service side or console side or portal side troubleshooting intune portal side troubleshooting now we are getting into client side and then the 
dig deep into the client logs etc using some of the console or portal functions called diagnostics etc collect diagnostics is an option if you go to a device record you would see a collect collect diagnostics button if you click on that it will automatically collect the logs which you want for further troubleshooting so it will take some time to collect the logs if the device is online and contactable it will collect the logs it will start the process immediately but again it is going to take some time to complete the collection and this diagnostics logs will have lot of details it will have registry entries registry dumps event logs and then application deployment logs autopilot related logs etc etc so lot of information will be there in this particular log if you are taking a diagnostics logs from windows device if it is ios android device it is all about collecting the logs from the company portal so you will get some more details from the company portal logs and you can start the troubleshooting for all the other device platforms such as android ios ipad os mac os etc then you need to get into the details of troubleshooting so event logs are the best place to troubleshoot mdm workload related issues so what does mdm workload it is a bit confusing right and i'm talking about ime workload here so there are two kinds of workloads in intune one is mdm related workloads and the other one is ime related workload mdm related workload is basically the native mdm stack within the os within the windows client os from the client side all the client os versions will have mdm agent inbuilt to the os and intune uses that particular agent inbuilt mdm agent for security policy deployment msix appx all the non win32 application deployment i said non win32 application deployments intune win format is excluded from mdm workload but there's a problem with mdm agent or mdm stack and that problem is it cannot handle complex application deployment scenarios like if you have a complex msi exe or some other format of application even powershell script if you want to deploy intune service cannot manage that deployment with mdm stack in the client os because mdm stack is not capable for that kind of deployments that is why microsoft developed something called intune management extension agent ime intune management extension agent ime for that kind of workload for example intune win format application deployment and then powershell script deployment remediation script deployment and then if you want to collect some inventory using i don't know advanced endpoint analytics you need to use ime this is a lighter version of configuration manager client i would say for your easy understanding it is a another client agent on the windows device and it will get installed automatically during the enrollment process if some criteria are matched prerequisites are matched so you don't need to do anything and as an intune admin you cannot control anything about ime it will get automatically up, updated regularly updated you cannot control that update it will automatically do the health check of ime agent ime agent installation deployment management everything is from intune site there are issues with ime agents i have seen but maybe those are very special cases etc and this is only for windows stack we are talking about windows devices 
and then event logs registries all these things are helpful for mdm issues so you can see over here event logs for mdm event log for security policy deployment or enterprise application related deployments msix etc so even event log is this one enterprise diagnostics provider and admin so that is the event log path and for autopilot there is a different node over here called autopilot inside enterprise diagnostics provider and registry user based deployments if it is a user based deployment microsoft policy manager provider and then there would be a sid user sid over here see the highlighted one that is the user sid okay that is for policy if the policy is for users there are different types of settings a user based and device based settings within the policy profile so this is clearly documented in csp documentation microsoft windows csp documentation user based policies and device based policies this is nothing to do with user based deployment of policy or device based deployment of policies this is to do with the csp support uh, windows mdm csp support so all these are advanced kind of troubleshooting scenarios so over here you would be able to see the user said okay and this is device based policy registry example policy manager providers it's same and the provider details over here and then it is device device you can see under device you would be able to see something like this or some other policies depending on the admx etc and for msix appx application non intune win apps this is the registry key where you can do some troubleshooting enterprise desktop management registry key now as as we discussed before there's a ime agent and all the ime agent related things are logged in a scm type log files so you can have different log files and you can check all those log files etc etc so those are scm type log files so if you have an issue with powershell deployment if you have an issue with intune win app deployment then you need to look into ime log files and then what i normally do is take one example of a working device if i have deployed a policy or application to lot of devices and on one device that policy is working fine on other device it is not work then what you can do is compare the logs on working device with non working device logs so from that you would be able to understand what is happening what are the differences etc etc so that would be very helpful and then there are a lot of other advanced kind of scenarios such as if the policy deployment is failing for entire device fleet maybe that is that is a bigger problem there is a known issue within microsoft intune or there's a known issue within the configuration of your intune profile or application command line or something else you need to understand or you need to find out that by testing it changing some policy configuration or application configuration etc etc and then there are some advanced kind of troubleshooting where you need to take the network traces or from the client side to understand whether any security agents such as symantec or mcafee or any proxy agent such as mcafee cloud proxy or some other cloud proxy is blocking some communication or interfering within the mdm traffic or ime traffic intune traffic basically and blocking something so all these are kind of very advanced kind of troubleshooting so not go going into details of that at the moment but from this video you will get a basic understanding of troubleshooting intune troubleshooting from where to start troubleshooting and how you can start troubleshooting if you are a deployment engineer how to troubleshoot if you are a help desk how to identify the exact issue by drilling down through different operational reports for different types of deployments this is applicable for all the device platforms 
now it's demo time let's quickly look into some of the demos so first of all let's find out whether the issue is a global issue or not from here okay go to microsoft admin center 365 admin center that is admin.microsoft.com and log in with that check for health so probably you might need to click on show all then only the health tab will appear once the tab is appeared you can pin it once you pin it every time you log in it will appear somewhere here so health and go to service health over here within the service health you would be able to see all these details such as all the existing problems with our service issues with Microsoft 365 advisory issues incidents etc etc type of issue is very important some of them are advisory some of them are incidents etc and you have an option to report your issue so let's take an example of issue history if you want to see some admins may be unable to view microsoft intune reports etc all these details are here so if you are having the same issue then it's a global issue you cannot do anything about it you just need to wait for microsoft to fix the issue now let's go to intune portal and check what are the issues reported over there if there is any tenant administration is the node for that and service health and message sender you can see past incidents over there if you click on that at the moment i don't have any incidents global issues for this particular tenant so if i click on past issues it is going to take me to the previous page which we had seen now we have seen global issues where to look and how to assess the impact so that is what we kind of done now the next level of assessing the impact is going into devices and checking some configuration profiles for example if you want to have a look at the policy which you deployed recently go to configuration profile from devices and check the operational type of reports as we discussed in the slide go to this configure windows health profile that is the latest profile deployed and check what is happening are uh, two conflicts if i view the report you can see this is similar to new troubleshooting experience we will come to that in a bit you can see two conflicts and there are some issues over here so if you want to check what does the conflict how we can rectify it we discussed that in the presentation itself so you don't need to go through the same thing again but you can check what is happening here by drilling down to all these things scope okay, click on scope that is causing the conflict and what what are the profiles which are trying to deploy the same policy settings with the different value so that is confusing the mdm agent on the client end so now admin needs to resolve it by removing one of the deployment or changing the value as per your exact requirement but from a service perspective it is kind of an admin error so you need to fix that if you if you check one other thing edge chromium favorites if you click on that you would be able to see the deployment success over there you can see the device status and status shows succeeded so let's look into troubleshooting experience the new one troubleshooting experience this is the new one which i want to go i clicked on this banner and clicked on try now right now and it is going to change the experience now i am going to check the user this is the new experience of troubleshooting in tune troubleshooting and this is the modern ui experience for this and you can see complaint 25 conflicts are four not applicable to this is related to the policy so 25 policies are complained so all these policies are complained for that particular user there are four conflicts because this is the same profile causing the conflict as you know and then there are two policies which are not applicable these are the details you can get from the summary and even from the summary you can drill down to each issues that is that is very useful and you can refresh from here you can refresh from here and you can see the user status whether the account is enabled or intune licenses associated 
devices from the devices you would be able to see the device details of that particular user and you can check the groups policies applications app protection policies updates etc if you click on these three dots you would be able to see enrollment restrictions and diagnostics log file whether there is any diagnostics data collected etc so let's check test account and check the device whether there is any device associated with this or not let's check another user it says ah okay this user doesn't have intune license so there's a problem that's why none of her devices are enrolled into intune we need to sort out the licensing issue over here you would be able to see okay, there are different devices and the devices are non compliant non ad compliant and all these errors you can see app lifestyle status uh, there's a failure right click on that what is that app life status available for install office is available for install chrome not applicable all those details you would be able to get it this is this is really nice finance corporate ownership and all the others are personal ownership in this scenario and there are some android devices as well over here so you can see all these details which are the managed applications etc etc from android devices as well okay. so this is very useful information even you can see the co managed devices over here so this is very useful groups policies everything is similar so that was the quick demo so in this video you have seen a lot of things about troubleshooting the new experience with intune troubleshooting and how to start troubleshooting from intune portal different personas of troubleshooting if you are troubleshooting as a deployment engineer how to start troubleshooting if you are troubleshooting as a help desk engineer how you are going to start the troubleshooting and what is the best way to start the troubleshooting into troubleshooting etc etc also we have discussed about advanced way of troubleshooting using the event logs registry entries etc etc some details about intune win format powershell script deployment related troubleshooting as well and overall the theme of this video was troubleshooting is an art and how to master that art the only way is to practice practice and practice hope this was helpful thank you all for watching see you next time